So let's do a Loz lesson on creating the love with your specific person that you want, whether you're being friend zone at the moment and just mates, whether it's that you've split up and you're not speaking, maybe you're in a no contact situation, whether they're a workmate and they don't even know you like them, or whether they're someone that you're in a relationship with and you want to make it more. In this Loz lesson, I will teach you how to create the summer of love with your specific person, regardless of the circumstances. So someone's just asked me, I manifested that my SP and I be friends again, but what's next? I want to be his girlfriend. So if you want to be someone's girlfriend, whether it's you're just friends at the moment, your work colleagues, you've only just met on an online dating site, you're getting back together and you want it to be more serious and it's just friends with benefits at the moment, or you're in a relationship and you want it to be more serious, that's what we're going to talk about in this Laws lesson because a lot of you don't know how to progress it to the next stage because you're not understanding this is actually all about you. So guys, today I announced our latest challenge that's going to be dropping, and sorry, this is all cut off, on August 1st inside my subconscious Loz squad. Now my squad is my private monthly membership group where you get support, accountability, and lives with me and the mentors where you can ask your questions and you can ask your questions in the Q&A forum and my really knowledgeable mentors will help you and the other members of the squad who are also super knowledgeable about what I teach, that this is about you, not them. So the reason why this guy in this photo is staring at this girl is because of what if she th because of what she thinks about herself. I'll say that again. The reason why this guy in this little picture we've made is staring lovingly with his love heart sunglasses at this girl is because of what she thinks of herself. What she thinks he thinks of her. What she thinks of relationships. How she thinks this relationship is going to turn out. It's all about what you assume about yourself, the situation, the other person, and just love in general. And if you've got a really shitty story about love in general, a really shitty story about your specific person, a really shitty story about relationships, and a really shitty story about you, guess how it's going to turn out? It won't be a summer of love. It'll be a summer of fucking nightmares. Because everything is based on your assumptions of yourself. And that's how manifestation works. So in this challenge, I'm going to be getting you to do a whole lot of visualizations, now, by visualization, I mean imagining in your mind for that it is true now. So if you wanted to create a summer of love with your specific person, whether you know them or not, whether you've just met them or not, whether you're still friends or not, you need to visualize the end you want. Now, when I say the end, I mean go to the end the way Neville Goddard taught it. And the end would be, in this situation, a relationship and a beautiful summer holiday or a beautiful next couple of months, August, September, October, over summer with your specific person, your dream scenario, your dream holiday, your dream relationship, your dream life with them, whether that's you go to Barbados together and go on lovely summer holidays, whether you're in winter on the other side of the world and you snuggle up in front of a fireplace, whatever it is that you want to create visually in your mind with your specific in this challenge to create in your mind first so it gets reflected out here on the screen of space. Because all manifestation is, guys, is what you're dominantly assuming in here and dominantly seeing inside your mind, visualizing inside your mind. So in this challenge, we will teach you how to visualize correctly because a lot of you find it very difficult. A lot of you would rather do affirmations or script. And a lot of you find visualizing hard. You don't know what to visualize. You don't know what scenarios to make up in your mind. You don't know whether or not you think it once or twice or 10 times or repetitively. In this actual challenge, we will not only give you actual visualizations to do, I will also be giving you a meditation and a sleep tape to go along with this. Plus, we're going to give you affirmation guides if you're on a firmer. So we're going to give you all the tools you need to create in your mind the summer of love, the summer where you get the relationship you want, whether you know your specific person or not, whether you're broken up or not, whether you're no contact or not, whether you're friend zoned or not, with your specific person the perfect scenarios in your mind. Now, we've thought of summer because we want a hot girl summer. And by hot girl summer, I don't mean single. <laughs> I mean together with your person. And we want to really use summer as a way to visualize because if you think of a beautiful holiday you could be on or lying on the beach or a beautiful uh, scene where you're sipping pina coladas at a hotel, it's kind of a fun thing to visualize. So we've chosen summer loving. Because actually thinking up scenarios that aren't your everyday 
are really fun to do. If we just said visualise you and your specific person eating breakfast at the breakfast counter in your house, it's kind of dull, right? This is much more fun. So this challenge is going to have playlists, memes, there's a lot of grease references. <laughs> it's going to be super fun as well as educational to make sure you guys truly understand how to visualise and you're doing it correctly to get what the fuck you want with your specific person, whether you know them or not. So in this situation with this person saying, I'm friends with my specific person again, okay, we're friends again, and I want to be his girlfriend. So I'm imagining in this situation there was some falling out or they weren't friends for a time. Now, if that's the case, darling, you've probably got a story that either they didn't want to talk to you or they didn't want you as a girlfriend or there was some reason why you are friends again. In that scenario, you've got to investigate what are the stories I still hold about him and us that aren't helping me here? Do I have a story he doesn't actually want a relationship, he just wants to be friends? Have I got a story he's upset about what happened in the past? Have I got a story that he likes other girls and not me? Have I got a story I'm not his type? What's my story I'm holding about this situation with this person and about him? Do I have a story he likes blondes and I'm brunette? Do I have a story myself that relationships don't work out for me? Have I got a story about myself that I'm not good enough for him? Whatever it is, you need to investigate that and then you need to visualise your lives together the way you want it, regardless of all that shit that you've been thinking. You throw that away, you think the new thoughts, and then you come up with new beautiful scenarios that are your end, the end you want, your beautiful, happy, committed relationship. And that's what we'll be doing in the challenge. Regardless of what you guys are thinking about scenarios, we're investigating that in the challenge and really making sure we're not thinking those things then we're really truly visualising the end. And so this is a real true visualisation challenge to really go to the end. Because some of you spend so much time investigating yourself, dig, dig, digging on yourself concept that you actually don't do a lot of the visualising the end stuff. And that's also as equally important. The reason why I make you investigate yourself concept whilst you're imagining the end is because a lot of you don't believe the end you're imagining. You'll have a lot of doubts while you're thinking up scenarios, while you're imagining things in your mind, while you're scripting, while you're affirming as to why that won't be true. It can't be true because I am X, Y, Z, because they are X, Y, Z, because this situation is fucked. They don't want me. Relationships don't work out for me. We're only friends and he doesn't want me that way. I'm not good enough for him. I'm not attractive enough. I'm not his type. Stories. So the reason why I focus so much on self-concept is whatever you're trying to visualise as your end is very difficult when you haven't tackled all those doubts I just brought up, all those questions, all those fears, all those subconscious fears. So in this challenge, we'll be tackling both, as we always do in all of my work, because I don't just present to you guys, here's some beautiful, you know, visualizations, bing, we're just going to have fun, bye. I go, okay, but what are you also thinking that's going to stop this from happening? So that's where the accountability and the asking questions and the being in the squad all the time and being kept accountable while you do the challenge helps. Because yes, we'll give you fun visualization prompts, but the purpose of our squad is to keep you accountable and to keep your mind right whilst you're in the group. A lot of people come in the squad, get their specific person back and leave. Big mistake. Being in the squad is like being in a gym. And you don't go and join the gym for a couple of months, lose all the weight, and then just quit. You've got to maintain your new body. And this, the squad is actually there for accountability and also maintenance. Once you already know this shit and once you understand and once you've got your manifestation, you want to keep it. So not only in this challenge, we'll be challenging ourselves to actually visualise the future we want with our specific person, but keeping it and keeping ourselves accountable in the process. So come and join us in the squad, guys. It's $50 for the month or $35 if you join yearly. Now, guys, when you are trying to change whatever situation it is with your specific person, like I said, I don't want you to talk like this person did in the question. Let me read it again and you tell me what the problem is with this, the way she phrased it. I manifest that my SP and I are friends again, but what's next? I want to be his girlfriend. So if the key in the challenge is to visualise your end and to visualise it as already having been true, that it's already here now and it is true, what's wrong with that question? I'm just going to scroll down you guys can answer me in the way she wrote it, that I want it, yep. You can't want something and be something at the same time. I can't want a pizza for dinner, but be eating the pizza right now. I am either in the state of wanting or in the state of having. If I have the pizza right in front of me and I'm eating it, I'm in the state of being and having it. I'm being a pizza eater. I am no longer hungry and I have my pizza. 
I want a pizza. I wish I had a pizza. If only I had a pizza, how do I get the pizza? What's next with my pizza? That's what a lot of you do. And that's what's wrong with that question. You can't be a double-minded man. Yes, someone just said that. That's double-minded. And a double-minded man is a person who wants something and tries to think it's here at the same time. You can't imagine you are now loved up and in a couple with your specific person and they love you and you're their girlfriend and also be thinking, I'm not their girlfriend, what's next? We are only friends, he only sees me as a friend. You, you've got to fully ensconce yourself in the new reality that you and your specific person are no longer friends and you are lovers and he is madly in love with you and you're in a couple. Now, how can you do that if you're still in the state of wanting it? You can't be in the state of wanting. So what we try and do with each challenge is make you guys aware of what you're thinking that's causing you not to go to that end and then we're really pushing you in the challenge with each task that we give you and they come every couple of days. So it's different than a, a squad course where we drop it on a Monday, you've got to wait a whole week for the next part. This is every couple of days you get something. We get a Spotify, you get a Spotify playlist you can add songs to. You're going to get affirmation guides. You're going to get a meditation. You're going to get a sleep tape from me. Okay, and you're going to get visualization prompts and inner conversations to have with your person and visualizations to think up the scenario you want as if it is already here now and you have it now. You're not in the state of wanting. You're not wanting to be the girlfriend. You are the goddamn girlfriend. You are in your summer of love, right? So if you're really lost on visualizing, if you're really lost on living in the end, this will be the challenge for you because you're going to challenge yourself to really understand how to visualize correctly, especially if those of you, you're one of those people who comes into my squad and says, I can't visualize or all I see is black in, black in my mind or I can't keep the scene or I keep doubting it every time I think of it or I, the third party jumps in every time I try and imagine something or I give myself nightmares or, 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 or. This challenge is for you because you're really going to challenge yourself to really do this. And you're going to be doing it on a consistent basis over the whole month of August. So this drops on the 1st of August. So I don't want to be doing hard sell here about the challenge, guys. But but what you've got to understand is the challenge is going to go hand in hand with what I'm answering in this question. If you are in the state of wanting with your specific person, you have got to transform yourself into the state of having. And visualising is the key to that. Because you've got to understand, guys, when you think things in your mind, your mind naturally creates visuals. I'll say that again. When you think of something in your mind, whether it's a fearful thought or a good thought, your mind naturally, without you realising, creates visuals in your mind. So those of you who think you have aphantasia and can't visualise actually don't have aphantasia. You actually already think images. You're just not aware of them, I think. I think that's how it medically would work. I think you're still imaging in your mind. You're just not aware of the images. Like there's like a synaptic thing going on where you don't, you're not aware, but I'm pretty sure your mind is still doing it. So, I mean, I'm not a doctor, but I would imagine that's what's happening. So what you need to understand is every scenario that you want at the moment with your specific person, you've got to be really vigilant that you're not visually coming up with scenarios that are the opposite. And a lot of you are unintentionally visualising. I'll say that again. A lot of you are unintentionally visualising what you don't want or you're just in the state of wanting and not in the state of having. So what might you be unintentionally visualising with your specific person that you don't realise you're visualising at the moment when you're trying to do this, when you're trying to be in the state of having? What if... Give me some suggestion, guys, of some of the things you've thought of in your mind that you've realised you've thought up or visualised or imagined in your mind whilst you're trying to visualise. Some of you might have trouble doing sleep tapes and have nightmares. Some of you might try and visualise and see the third party popping in. Some of you might try and visualise and hear the person say, oh, I don't want you. Or you have a real hard time imagining a scenario where it's all loved up and coupled up and they say, I love you. So what have some of you unintentionally visualised? Tell me. Can anybody think of anything? Oh, I'm not seeing any chat. So, guys, that's what we're going to tackle in this. Yes, intrusive thoughts, but I will right after say, no, that is not what I want, and I will start visualising. Okay, good. That's why the third party won't go away. I'm unintentionally visualising her. Right. Turns into a fight or a drama. Oh, okay. So some of you are visualising a third party and they keep popping in because you're so cognizant of the fact that she's around. Some of you get in fights with your specific person with your visualisation in your mind. 
That's not going to help you. What else are we doing? Having fearful thoughts, arguments. Yes, same here. God. Sleep tape nightmares. Yep. Imagine him posting a pic with a third party and he did two weeks ago. Oh, I've unintentionally visualized him non-committal. Oh my God, guys. Arguments, arguments, the opposite of what I'm thinking, past circumstances, what I don't want. Right. So see why we've come up with a visualization challenge? Because we know, the mentors and I, that a lot of you have trouble visualizing and a lot of you will try and visualize what you want and you have all this shit coming in, past circumstances, third parties, arguments, what you don't want, fears, nightmares. In this challenge, you'll really challenge yourself to not do that anymore. And if those thoughts come up, you're going to become aware of them and then you're going to have the accountability and the consistency and the maintenance of the squatties there and the mentors to help you whenever those thoughts come up. So what happens in our squad is, and also in our free groups of Conscious Laws on Facebook, we have a Q&A forum. Now, it closes at the end of every week. And the purpose of that is so you don't accidentally put your question in a forum from like two years ago. So we create the forum every week. It's a post. You can write your questions underneath. People answer them, hopefully. And then it closes and a new one starts next week. So say you didn't get your question answered, which is rare in the squad. It can happen a lot in our free group because the mentors aren't in there. But in the squad group, if you didn't get your question answered, you can just ask next week in the next Q&A forum. You can ask on my lies and in the Mentor Mondays. You can also ask here. Now, as part of the challenge, you can also be discussing what's going on in each post that we post and you can ask questions there. So if you need true accountability and you find that you unintentionally visualise shit you don't want, the squad will keep you accountable for this whole month to make sure you're not doing that and to give you tips about what to do to change it when that happens. Because a lot of you are trying really hard to do the techniques you've been taught by manifestation coaches and then you're struggling because you're finding your subconscious mind fights you, takes over, thinks of things and scenarios that you don't want. And that's what my whole account is about. That's why I'm called Subconscious Laws. I'm here to tackle your subconscious thoughts you don't want to have. All right, guys, come and join the challenge with us. It starts August 1st. If you get in now, you'll get the end of the Be There Priority course, or not the end, you'll get the whole course and it gets taken out at the end of July. So at the very end of July, Be There Priority gets taken out of the squad. So I suggest you get in now. So you're in for the whole of Be There Priority. You can go and do all the workbooks and you can also watch all the videos that are there in the guides section of the squad and you'll be there for the start of the Summer Loving Challenge. So come and join us now, guys. All right, hang on, guys, I'm going up. Exam failure, imagine him saying we can't work out, being abandoned, broken up with, pushing them away. Oh, my God, guys, so many unintentional visualisations here. You're your own worst enemy, a lot of you are, guys, and you don't even realise you're doing it. What to do if you feel like there's too much wrong and feeling overwhelmed? Well, that's your story about you, darling. So if you think there's too much wrong with the scenario, you're thinking circumstances matter, but you probably also have a very strong story that you do things wrong and you fuck things up and you don't get what you want and things aren't fixable. So for you to have a very strong story that the circumstance with your person is unfixable and unchangeable, that's actually a story about your self-concept thinking you can't change things and you don't get what you want. So investigate why you think that. And that's what you need to change. And then it will change because you think the circumstances matter. So go and watch any of my YouTubes about circumstances don't matter. There's heaps of them. Do I have to meditate every night? I literally don't even teach meditation, darling. You're in the wrong chat. I don't have a turban on my head. We don't do that here. We do meditations, guided meditations. Is that what you mean? You don't have to sit there and think of a flower and go into a Zen state and have and you know nothing of the brain. We're thinking new thoughts. So... If you want to do that, if you do want to meditate every night, I don't force you to, but if you do want to, what I would do is put on one of my sleep tapes. And that way you're not forcing yourself to do anything every night because I don't give you any kind of guides to say, you must do this. So for someone to say, must I or do I have to, you don't have to do anything at all, darling, okay? So, but what you could do is go to my sleep tape, my eight-hour sleep affirmation section of my YouTube and pick any of the eight-hour sleep tapes that would suit your self-concept issues and listen to them every night down low while you sleep. Yes, guided meditations. Or go to my guided meditations and affirmations section of my my YouTube and pick one that suits you and listen to that often. You can, but I'm not going to force you to do it every night. Or you can come and join the challenge and do the meditation in that that you can only get in the challenge and the sleep tape, okay? Loz would look beautiful with the turban. Oh, thank you, darling. I don't know if it would suit my hair. Loz, does the subconscious recognize words like not and never? I say I never get sick. I say I will not do this. Guys, it it literally, that's bullshit. I think that's utter and complete bullshit. Okay, I'll give you an example. My old cat had a cyst 
And I kept saying, it's not a cyst, it's not a cyst, it's not a cyst, it's not a cyst. The vet's going to come out and say, it's not a cyst. She literally came out and said, oh, look, look, nothing to worry about. It's all clear. It's not a cyst. So if I, if that were true and your subconscious doesn't recognise the word not, how come I reflected the thought out to make the vet say it's not a cyst and I used the word not? That's ridiculous. That's an LOA thing. I don't know. Some doctor said X, Y, Z, the brain does X, Y, Z. Well, a lot of doctors tell you to eat sugar. A lot of doctors tell you to take a vaccine. A lot of doctors tell you a lot of things. A lot of psychologists tell you a lot of things that are fucking wrong and been proved wrong. So I think a lot of that psychology speak about the subconscious mind can't hear negative thoughts is just hooey and someone needs to prove that wrong. I was thinking about that, that not and never stuff too. It's ridiculous. There are no facts. You decide what the truth is. Guys, in this challenge, you are going to decide the truth of what your summer or winter, if you're in Australia or Asia or this side of the world, is going to be like. You're the only one who decides. I don't care if your specific person said to fuck off and die. I don't care if your friend's zoned at the moment. I don't care if you're not speaking. I don't care if you're no contact. You decide the truth of it. And in the visualizations, you will make it true. Work on self makes me feel so much better. Even I forgot about SP and he comes in hot. Guys, listen. My whole account is to be focused on you because you, they are only reflecting you. So you have to change, otherwise they won't change because they're not changing, they're reflecting you. And when you watch any of my content inside the squad, you can also watch all my old coaching sessions with people. So they're only available in the Subconscious Law Squad. You'll understand that what I'm coaching people to do in each of the coaching sessions one-on-one -on -one is to uncover what their deep hidden subconscious thoughts are about themselves and change themselves. Otherwise, nothing's going to change because it's not changing. It's a reflection of you. So if you really haven't watched my one-on-one -on -one coaching before, I recommend not only to do this challenge in the squad and join us, but to join us simply so you can watch the one-on-one -on -one sessions that you can't see anywhere else. I've never put them on YouTube. They're people's private lives. We can't put them anywhere else but the squad because they agreed to show it in the squad and some people even have their screen turned off and all you can hear is their voice. So if you want some in-depth learning, that is the place to go because you actually can't see those sessions anywhere else. I feel good enough for attractive men, but not the Latino ones and feel lucky when they choose me. Well, you've got a real story about Latino men not wanting you. Where the fuck is that coming from? Are you for real? All I've ever dated is Latino men until recently. Um, do you have any advice for visualization? I'd love to get better at it. I'm not sure how. Well, Maria, come and join the challenge. It's what the whole thing is about. Okay? Everything's about visualization in this challenge. So what you need to do is stop telling the story that you're not good at it. When you really get this, you don't have any questions and it changes in your mind. Yes, guys, look, there are so many squaddies who really get this and they'll be able to give you so much help in there because they get this now. And once the penny drops, once you see this, you can't unsee it. I saw a person just before put a comment on my latest YouTube video called Choose Your Own Love Story and they said, I have watched so many of your videos, but this is the, the one where the penny has finally dropped. Oh, my God. I had to keep watching and watching and watching and watching and listening until I finally got it. A lot of you, when you do my courses in the squad, will realise you had to watch the video five times till it sunk in. And then you're like, oh, fuck, I've been doing this wrong. Yes, come to the squad, yes. It's crazy seeing stuff you visualise come to reality. It is, guys, honestly. There's a couple of things recently that happened in my life and I'm like, like I've got to tell someone this morning what happened last night that is so crazy and it's what I visualised, what I wanted, and it all came about last night. And I'm just like, she's going to go, what? Because <laughs> I visualised it. I was like, no, that's not what I want. I want this. That's not right. No, what I'm visualising and what I have to have is this and what I'm going to have is this. And it's all worked out. And I'm like, sometimes I spin myself out. <laughs> I'll tell you the story next week. Laws Be The Priority course has been amazing. Oh! So, guys, if you get in now, you'll still get Be The Priority before it goes on my website. It will go on my website in a couple of weeks for a lot more money because there'll be things added. So make sure you come and get it in the squad now before it leaves at the end of July. If SP is our mirror and I'm starting to be unsure if I want SP anymore, will SP feel the same? Yep, he probably won't want you. Or he'll feel unsure of you. They reflect you, guys. Hey, Loz, what are your thoughts on consciously manifesting university acceptance? Love you. Someone just did it who watches my YouTube the other day. They were going on and on and on about needing a scholarship to get in. And I said to her, for God's sake, can you just imagine yourself at the university? Because you're obsessed with this scholarship. You're worrying about the how. And now she's at the university and her parents paid. <laughs> All she had to do was go to the end, right? What day does it leave? The end of July. So the end of July. 
right guys so make sure if you're in the squad right now or you haven't joined the squad and you want to do be their priority i would go in there immediately today or the next couple of days do the workbooks watch the videos otherwise you're going to have to pay for it on my website so the genius of joining the squad is guys you get those courses before anyone else plus you get them for a lot less you get the challenges before anyone else. One of our challenges, the Manifest Contact Challenge, was so successful and so fucking popular. We're actually putting that on my website soon because everyone wants it because we had some crazy fucking success from that challenge and everyone loved doing it. It was really fun, right? We were writing texts from our SPs and people were getting like the actual text, like, oh my God, I wrote it here in the challenge and here it is in the text. So we'll show you all those success stories when it comes out. It's really crazy. Thanks. I always go to the end. What's this? I've already attending my university classes in my mind. It's great. Yes, do that, darling. Imagine wearing the, the jumper, wearing the hat, being in the classes, all those things. My SP finally contacted me after two months apologising and wants to meet. He still has third party. How do I, how do you what? Just don't worry about the third party. Just imagine you and him together and imagine it's all good because he's contacted you and it's all, give it all good meaning, okay? Loz, what are your biggest tips of finding our self-concept beliefs? I struggle with my beliefs. Well, darling, come and do my self-concept course. There's a whole assessment in there. So if, you can't, if you're struggling to find them, I will find them for you. That's what the assessment's for. It's a blind assessment. You'll get to the end and go, oh, fuck, is that what I think of myself? Yes, my success story was in the letter this week. Ah, oh, it was in the Loz letter. So guys, if you're not on my Loz letter email list, come and join us at subconsciousloz.com or download any of my freebies, my free course, my million dollar affirmations guide, my perfect person checklist. You'll get on my email list. And every Monday, we bring out success stories, some of the latest success stories. And this person's success story was in the email. And there's a blog that goes with it. And there's also a lesson every Wednesday. And that's coming out this Wednesday. So make sure you're on that list and you'll get the launch of the course and the latest Loz lesson in the Loz letter. All right, guys, I'm going to go. Come and join us in the squad. I'm sorry about the hard sell, but when I launch something, I've got to tell you all about it. <laughs> so don't miss out. It starts on August 1st. And if you get in now, you'll still get be their priority that ends at the end of July. It'll be pulled out. So please don't miss it. The squad is the most supportive, lovely place to be. Everyone in there really cares about each other. Everyone wants everyone else to get their shit. We celebrate everyone's wins in there. There's so much success you can't see anywhere else unless you're on my blog or on my email list. And there's thousands and thousands of success stories in our G Drive that aren't even going on the blog. So when you go in the squad, you can go in there and search them all or just come and join my free Facebook group, Subconscious Laws, and come and read the success stories in there. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube and I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.